She wandered in one day, came in the door, had seen our sign, was looking for a place to volunteer, and we had new signage out. So she saw our big new sign and came in. And she's been here ever since, thank goodness. Volunteers, well, they come and go. Some only assist an hour here, an hour there. Yet others find a way to dedicate a large portion of their time for a good cause. Meet Bev Aiken, a retiree who stumbled into the Wood Buffalo Food Bank to help and hasn't left. I come every day. Why do you come every day? Well, I retired last June and I was looking for something to do. Just, uh, I can't sit around. <laughs> and I wanted something physical. I've sat behind a desk for 40 years and I wanted something different. She's had a couple of holidays to go back to Ontario and she always feels bad about it. I'm like, no, like seriously, what she does here is amazing. She could pretty much do any, any job. I could leave her alone here in the warehouse and it'd be totally fine. I sort food, I weigh food, I check the expiry dates, stock shelves, make hampers, sweep the floors, just anything they need me to do. Bev takes the backstage role and prides herself in what she can accomplish, which goes unnoticed by the public. This has earned her the support from the staff of the Wood Buffalo Food Bank and her husband. Uh, he would prefer if I had a paying job, but <laughs> he said I'm, I'm happy what I'm doing, so he's, so he's okay with it. <laughs> he's proud of me, I hope. <laughs> I know that they're the, the, just the community being the way it is, it, uh, we generally retire and move away, but, so we don't have that retirement community, but Bev is a prime example of what the retirement community is or could you know could be I guess the sense of satisfaction when I go home a day I know I've done something and actually the people here are so nice to work with I mean they're all we're here to help people and I, I really uh, that's what I like about it yeah, so it's uh, and I'm like I said I'm very satisfied when I go home at the end of the day that I've done something to help somebody so Forgo and showcasing a community leader making Wood Buffalo a better place for all, I'm Doug Roxburgh.